In this video, we are going to discuss about loops in Python and we will discuss about for loop and while loop. Firstly, we will discuss for loop and implement an example and then we will discuss about while loop. So the for loop. So for loop in Python is quite simple in execution other than other programming languages. For loop is used to iterate over sequences like any list, tuple or set etc. And not only just for the sequences, but any iterable object can also be traversed using a for loop. Now, let us understand with the help of flowchart that how for loop exactly executes. So, firstly, if we say that program initiation of that loop begins and then it is checked that is it this last item in the sequence, then any particular function, for example, is it checking that is it the last item in the sequence so that particular item is checked. That is a decision or an iteration has been made. Now, if the last item, it is not the last item, that means traversing needs to be go on, then it executes a certain body. That body of if or any other statement which you are giving that it executes and then it again check. And if it is the last item of the iteration after the loop is executing, then what it does, it exactly ends. If it is the last item of the equa of the iteration or the particular sequence, then it um, ends after traversing that particular last element or it keep on executing the body and finally reaches to the last element. That means that this execution will start and look for the first item in the sequence or the iterable object which you are giving. It will check whether it has reached the end of the sequence or not. And after executing the statements in the block, it will look the next item and similarly check on and the process will continue and the execution has reached at the last item then it will stop if it is the last item then it will stop now let us understand the syntax of for loop how can we write that and always keep in mind that indentation is must we have also discussed in the decision making statements also previously that indentation is must while executing a python program so firstly let us say that i have initialized a particular tuple let's say x and that is having value 1 2 3 4 and 5 now i want to print this number separately for that i want to use a for loop so this is the syntax for let's say i in x that means every particular iteration i'm naming it as i in x this is the syntax for for loop in python that for i in x what we have to do print i print every iteration that means simply the numbers are going to get printed 1 2 3 4 5 so in this particular example the execution starts from the first item in the tuple x in this particular tuple it starts with the first item that is 1 and it went on until the execution reach at 5 that is the last element of the tuple it is very simple example of how we can use for loop in python and now let us execute this program first and then we will look to other example of for loop. So let us write the program which we have just now explained that x and I am writing here in tuple. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These are the elements. Now I am going to execute the for loop that is for i in x print I. So this is the particular loop which I am going to execute and it is going to print the individual numbers which are there in tuple. Here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 all the elements have been printed. That means it firstly executes from the first element of the tuple x and went until the execution of 5 is reached. That's how for loop executes in Python. Next in loops also in particularly for loop we have a function named range. Now what is the use of this range function? So this particular range function is used along with for loop sometime and range is a built-in function that returns a particular sequence it is a built-in function in python that returns a sequence a range function has three parameters now what are those three parameters the first parameter is the starting that where the loops need to be started ending parameter and a step parameter The ending parameter is does not include the number declared. That means it is exclusive. It does not include, it just sets the 
limit and the step parameter actually jumps over the particular sequence for example let us execute another how can we execute a program for it let's say if a equals to list and we are using range here now firstly what we have to give the start parameter so let, i'm saying that it is starting from 1 and ending parameter 15 so that means 15 is not inclusive it is exclusive so this will particularly execute up to 14 only and this is how i'm giving this step so i'm giving this step here as 2 so as i do that and then what i have to do i want to print this particular a so as i print this a what it is going to print it is firstly going to print 1 then it is going to jump two steps and then print the next number and it will execute till 14. It will not include 15. Why? Because it is exclusive in nature. This is exclusive. It is the ending parameter of the range function in Python for for loop. So let us execute this program also and see that how the sequence gets print. So let us write here what we have discussed. A list I want to print and I want to give range starting from 1 to 15 and jump for 2 and I want to print this A. This is how what we have to write and as I execute this particular cell here you can see a list is printed of jumping 2. So here you can see firstly it prints the number that where it has to begin. So sequence starts with 1. Now it comes to jump 2 times it will jump so it will 1, 2. After that the number it's going to print is 3. Similarly 3 and 4 then it is going to print 5 and it goes so on. Now at 13 when it jumps 2 it comes to 15 that 13 and then 14 and next it comes to 15 but 15 is not included because it is the ending parameter that's why it is not included it is exclusive from this particular loop and this is how range is also in python which is help with the execution for for loop we can use for i in range also for printing several sequence of iteration or any other numbers or any other concepts of program now let us switch to while loop so now we are going to discuss about while loop in python so while loop also works like for loop only and iterate a sequence with a condition that means in checks with a condition so firstly if the while loop enters then what it does it it checks the condition and if the condition is true then what it does if this particular condition turns out to be true then it executes the body which is there for the true condition okay it will execute the body of while loop and execute certain statements and it again checks if there is a certain iterations are there and if it turns out to be false then what it does is it simply exits this is a simple working of the while loop in python now what is the syntax for writing a while loop you have to do nothing this is a very basic syntax while you have to just mention any expression or condition you can give here and then you can write the statement which needs to be executed for example if i am taking an input from the user a particular number and when i take the input then firstly what i have to do is for input i have to write n int input and then i am going to write that uh, enter a number or sort of and then i will check firstly i will initialize a variable i equals to zero and then i will check that if while loop i is less than equals to n then what is that it will increment i plus 1 and what it does it will increment in a other particular variable that s is equals to i plus n and then print that particular s up to a sort of number as that particular number exceeds from i if the i value comes out to be greater then this loop will exit and it will simply end so now let us execute this example also and see how the while loop works so here you can see that I have written a code for while loop. Firstly, I'm taking an input from the user that it has to enter a number and I have initialized i as a variable 0 and it will check if i is less than equals to n. Then it will increment i with 1 and in s variable it is going to store the sum of i plus n the number which you have input. Similarly, it is going to check again that if i is less than equals to n, i will increment and then the value of s will be changed accordingly and lastly when i incrementation is greater than the value of n then the loop will exit printing the last value of 
S. So as I execute this particular cell, it asks me for a number and I enter, for example, 5 and it prints that the last sum entered will be 11. Why? Because firstly, it is going to check that yes, 0 is less than 5. So it will increment i with 1. The value of i is turns out to be 0 plus 1 that is 1. And in sum, what it is going to store in S variable, it is going to store i plus n. That means 1 plus 5, that is 6. Again, it is going to check the value of i here after incremented is 1. 1 is less than n equals to 5. Yes, the condition is true. Similarly, it is going to execute. And at a point when the value of i comes out to be greater than 5, the number which we have entered, then it will print the last value of sum, that is 11. So this is how while loop executes in Python. And by the end of this video, we have discussed about the for loop and while loop in Python and in next video we are going to discuss about the loop control statements.